Flettner Ventilator is the world leader in wind-powered ventilation for commercial vehicles. We have manufactured and sold ventilators to customers throughout the world since 1931. What are the main benefits of fitting a Flettner Ventilator to your vehicle? A reduction in condensation, the extraction of stale odours and fumes, the removal of excessive heat. In addition, there are no running costs. Flettner products are maintenance free and have a lifetime warranty. This video demonstrates the fitting process for your Flettner 2000. In this short film, we demonstrate an F2000 vent being fitted to a commercial vehicle, but the same method will apply should you wish to fit this ventilator to a horse box, RV, truck or trailer, a portable building or for other flat-roofed applications. In order to prepare for the fitting process, you need to ensure you have the correct tools. The tools you'll need to fit your vent are as follows. Safety glasses, a pair of gloves, and if you're working in a confined space, you may wish to consider using earplugs. In addition, you will need the fitting instructions supplied with your vent, a marker pen, a pencil, a steel rule, and a pair of scissors. In order to cut the hole for your vent in the vehicle roof, you will need a drill together with 3mm, 5mm and 6.5mm metal cutting drill bits and a hole saw. Finally, in order to complete the fitting process, you will need a tube of waterproof silicone sealant, a pot of rust inhibitor, a file for deburring the roof edges, a socket spanner and a flat-headed screwdriver. Fitting step 1. Remove the vent from the box. You should have a rotor and shutter assembly, a set of fitting instructions, a grey plastic cap and a small plastic bag containing four nuts and bolts. Start by prising the grey plastic cap from the top of the rotor with a flat-headed screwdriver and remove the locking nut using a half-inch or 13mm socket spanner. Hold the rotor and unscrew the second nut using a screwdriver inserted in the slot at the top of the spindle. Turn the screwdriver clockwise to release the nut. Keep the two nuts in a safe place for later. Disassemble the rotor from the rotor base. Finally, unclip the shutter from the support ring and set these aside for later. Fitting Step 2. Remove the fitting template from the instruction leaflet provided with your ventilator using scissors. Once you have your cutout template, draw a pencil line from one of the screw holes to the opposite screw hole. Repeat the process for the two remaining screw holes. This allows you to mark out the exact centre hole you'll need to cut in the vehicle roof on the template. Using a drill bit or other pointed object, carefully puncture the template in each of the four screw hole positions, not forgetting to also puncture the centre mark. Fitting Step 3 you are now ready to drill the holes in the vehicle roof. This can be done from either inside the vehicle or from the outside if you have the appropriate safety ladders. Locate the position on the van roof where you want to fit your flattener. Place the template on the roof and using a marker pen carefully mark the five holes in the template. Note, we suggest you fit your flattener close to a roof strut or support. Do not fit it to a large unsupported section of the roof. For best results, we recommend the addition of a passive inlet air grill set low down inside the vehicle. Don't forget to wear safety glasses for this next stage. Using a 3mm drill bit, drill five pilot holes in the roof of the vehicle. Next, open up the four fixing holes with a drill fitted with the 5mm drill bit. Finally, open up the centre hole using a 6.5mm drill bit. Next, using a 75mm to 96mm hole saw, proceed to cut out the hole for your vent in the roof of the vehicle. Please note that the hole must be no greater or smaller than these dimensions. Remove any burrs from the cut edges using a metal file. Once you have done this, use a good quality rust inhibitor to protect the exposed metal surfaces against corrosion. Fitting Step 4 Fit the foam gasket to the base of the rotor using a good quality waterproof sealant to hold it in place. You can also add sealant to the side of the foam gasket that will make contact with the roof when it's fitted to the outside of the vehicle roof. 
place the rotor base on the roof and push the four bolts down through the fixing holes. You'll need the assistance of a second person at this stage. From the inside of the vehicle, offer up the support ring to the underside of the roof, passing the four bolts through the four holes in the support ring. Whilst the person on the outside of the vehicle uses a slot-headed screwdriver to prevent the bolts from rotating, the second person should fit and tighten the nuts provided. Do not over-tighten at this stage. Note, if the vehicle is either double-skinned or lined with plywood, an adapter can be used. This component is available from all of our major distributors. Next, place the rotor onto the shaft and secure with bolt nuts. The lower nut should be hand-threaded onto the spindle clockwise and gently tightened into position by turning the spindle anti-clockwise with a screwdriver. Ensure the nut sits within the hexagonal recess. Don't over-tighten. Finally, tighten the second and locking nut clockwise onto the lower nut. Once done, press the grey cap home into position. If you have fitted the ventilator correctly, the rotor should spin freely and there should be no vertical movement. All we need to do now is finish off the fitting process by clipping the shutter to the support ring on the inside of the vehicle. When fitting out your vehicle, don't forget your Fletner.